This presentation is just looking at how we generate exactly the right amount of power throughout the day and the part that pumped storage hydroelectric power stations play in that, such as the one at Cruachan in Scotland. The first problem that we have is that electricity can't be stored as electricity. We need to generate exactly the amount we need at all times. There are four types of energy that we can store. These are known as the potential energies. We've got chemical potential energy, elastic potential energy, nuclear potential energy, and the one that we're interested in, gravitational potential energy. Something has gravitational potential energy when it's high up. The second problem that we have is that the demand for electricity fluctuates. Starting at midnight, the amount of electricity needed drops to a minimum at about half past four in the morning. It then starts to rise up again as people get up and go to work, and then throughout the day the demand is quite high, rising to its maximum about tea time when people get home, switching TVs, heating, lights, etc. on, and then it starts to drop off as the evening progresses, and then we back to repeat the cycle again. There are many different ways that we generate electricity in this country. One of the main ones is coal. A coal-fired power station has the advantage that you can get huge amounts of electricity from a relatively small amount of fuel. But one of the problems is it takes a long time for the power station to heat up and to be producing full power. When that electricity isn't needed, it takes a long time for it to come down and to, to go offline again. Nuclear, similarly, very, very slow to react to the changing demands in the 24-hour cycle of the electricity needs. Hydroelectric power, however, within two minutes you can have the, the generators going at full power uh, from stationary. And if you, if you know in advance that you're going to want a certain power surge at a certain time, for instance when a popular TV programme finishes, you can get the turbines spinning first and then within 30 seconds you can be generating maximum power. If we go back to our demand curve, you can see that it's going to be fairly impractical to keep adjusting coal and nuclear-fired power stations to take account of the fact that in the middle of the night you don't need much electricity and during the day you need quite a lot. Instead what we can do is we can have power stations which produce a general base load of energy which goes something along like that and you can see that during the day We've not got enough power, we're going to need to generate some more, whereas at night we're actually generating more electricity than we need. This is where a pumped hydroelectric power station comes in, because at night when you've got too much electricity, the surplus electricity is used to pump water from the bottom of a mountain up to a reservoir at the top of the mountain. During the day when you need more electricity, that electricity is generated by allowing the water to run down the tubes through the generators to bring the power level back up to what we need. This is the principle that's used at the Cruachan power station in Scotland. At the bottom of the hill you've got Loch Or, which is a vast amount of water, 22 mile long lock, whereas at the top of the hill they've built a dam across and they've made a reservoir which can store 10 million meters cubed of water. There's a 396 meter head of water between the two reservoirs. This means that you can generate an awful lot of electricity. During the day the water runs down this pipe and through the turbines generating 440 megawatts of power on full power. At night, surplus electricity is drawn from the grid and it pumps water from Loch Orr through there using the turbines as a pump and it puts the water back into the upper reservoir. So this is the view from the top. You can see the dam wall here, which they built across a corry. So the water runs down into the corry and it's collected to supplement the water that they're pumping back from the lock down here. You can see Loch Orr and that is 396 metres below the level of this water. The power station itself is a kilometre inside the mountain, 
and you have to drive down a long access tunnel to get there. The natural heat of the power station and the mountain and the rocks themselves mean that you can actually grow some quite tropical plants. This photo here is of the flow valve. This mechanism here operates which opens the valve and that allows the water through uh, from the reservoir and down and in through the turbines. This is right in the bottom of the building uh, inside the cavern in the middle of the mountain. There are four 110 megawatt turbo generators which are used uh, during the day to generate electricity and at night they're used as gigantic pumps to pump the water back up the mountain. This insert here just shows the shaft which connects the turbine to the generator. This shot here is of one of the generators which has actually been dismantled for maintenance. You can see the rotor, the bit that spins here, and here are the magnets which are spinning inside the coil in that hole in the ground there. There are four of these generators, each of which generates 110 megawatts. When it's working at full power, it uses a staggering 200 tonnes of water per second from the reservoir at the top. The electricity is generated at 16 kilovolts, and in order to transmit it through to where it's going to be needed, you need to step that voltage right up to 275 kilovolts. This is done in the transformer hall, which is still within the mountain. The power is generated, comes through to the transformer, it's converted to 270 kilovolts, and then it goes up through a shaft right up to till it comes out on the mountain side where it then travels 48 miles through to Windy Hill, just near Glasgow. Although Cruachan isn't one of Britain's biggest power stations, it is one of the more useful ones in the sense that it can generate 440 megawatts at a moment's notice and then it uses surplus electricity overnight in order to pump water back up to the top of the mountain where you can use that energy again the following day. Thank you very much.